Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to another episode about using DaVinci Resolve 15 as your editor slash color grading software. In today's video, I'll have a look at one of the new tools in DaVinci Resolve 15. It is the film damage, which are um, kind of a way to make your footage look like old film in a very easy way. So let's have a quick look at that. Let's go to the edit suite. Okay, and here we are back in the Vint Resolve. And um, this time we are going to have a look at one of the new things in DaVinci Resolve 15. So let's go up to our libraries here. And let's go to the open effects and let's go down to the film damage. And as you see already, we are going to have this old film vintage look just by applying one thing. But, oh, and by the way, you can do this effect either you could do it in the editing set or you can do it in the color tab. So that's totally up to you. So in this tutorial, I'll do it in the edit tab. So I'll just go to the inspector and there's nothing to inspect because I didn't highlight my clip. Now I can do something, go to the open effects. And as you can see, we have all the things we can mess around with. So we can go here and if we think our footage is too uh, sharp, we can go here and, and blur it a bit. So you see, either we can Blur it big time. Oh, we just reset it here. I think we will blur it just a bit, not too much. And then, and also we can mess around with the temperature shift. So if we want it to be more bluish, we can adjust. And also with the, with the tint, we can adjust that. So I think if we'll go for like this old vintage look, I think we'll. Do something around, around like that. And then of course we can go down here and then here we have all our dirt. We can change the color of our dirt. I don't know why you would do that, but hey. And then of course, if we, we can just, if we just run the clip, you can see it's really quite nasty. <laughs> So we can also dial down the dirt here, so it's not so pretty. And also we can do something, either we can make our dirt very big. But I think that's a little too much, so let's make it a bit smaller. And then we can also blur out the, the dirt a bit, so it's not so visible. And of course, we have also the speed of our dirt. So I think it should be, let's see, maybe we'll put that to eight. Still a bit crazy. Something like that. And then we can go to the scratches, and this is this one. And and we can dial that all the way up. And then it's just too crazy. We can dial it down. To be honest, I actually like the scratch as it is. So I'll leave it. And then you, of course, could add a vignette. Well, just like something like this. <laughs> And then you can move where your vignette should be. Yeah, I think we'll um, we'll reset the vignetting. I don't want that. Okay, and then the last thing you of course could do is you could go to the timeline, click that, and go to the output blanking, and then take um, I think it's something like this. Okay, and that was a quick look at one of the new features in DaVinci Resolve 15, the damage film. 
So it's a very easy way to pretty fast make your footage look quite old and damaged. I like it, but um, let me know in the comments below if you like it. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on our channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.